Welcome in Kariboni to Aroma of Zanzibar. Today I bring you this special traditional bread called Mkati Watambi. For Mkati Watambi I have my thick coconut milk, rice vermicelli, eggs, sugar, raisins, vanilla and cardamom. And uh, today I'll be using the thin rice vermicelli which are basically noodles. You can also use the large ones like these ones. Okay. These are also rice. You can also use, this is basically a pasta that's made of semolina, it's angel hair. Or you can use these ones, which these are made with whole wheat and they're roasted. And they come in very uh, many sizes. This is the thinnest one and the smallest. You may need to use medium or large for this recipe. So I'm going to start by breaking down my noodles. You want to break them down because it's easier to cook, you know, because they're too long. As you can see, it's, they're curled up. And back home we used to get them straight, so even then you want to break them down a bit. And also, I'm going to I'll put some ghee on my pan. You can use uh, oil or butter, and you can use any kind of pan that you like, shape or size, uh, depending on the, the amount of noodles that you're going to be using. And I'm going to start with my cooking my coconut uh, sauce. You want to use a thick coconut milk. Do not compromise over here. So it's two cups and a quarter cup of sugar, vanilla, and cardamom. And you just want to stir it until all the sugar is completely dissolved. And also make sure that it does not stick at the bottom of the pan. So make sure that your heat is on medium or it's on low. And you want to cook this for about 7 to 10 minutes. And my water is ready, ready to cook the noodles. What I normally do is I check on the instructions uh, how many minutes you need to cook the noodles and I cut that, cut that into half. So these noodles called for five minutes and I cook them for two and a half minutes. You don't want to overcook this because we will be cooking them further with the coconut sauce. So after that, you just want to drain all the water. And just in case if you have overcooked your needle, noodles, then you can just uh, run cold water for a few minutes to prevent them from cooking further. And then we're going to add this to our sauce. Okay. And keep the heat on low. And let them cook slowly until all the coconut milk is completely dried up. Okay. And in the meantime, I'm going to work with the eggs. So two eggs and I've got some vanilla and a tea, half a teaspoon of cardamom and some sugar and you just want to blend this to nice creamy and frosty mixture and you can add more cardamom if you want so now my noodles have dried up as you can see and we are ready to put them in the pan and ready to bake so so we can bake them now i'm applying the egg mixture on top of the ghee because I started with the ghee then the egg mixture. Uh, the egg mixture basically I'm using it here as a binder but uh, some people like to have it you know more eggs so if you want to add more egg please go ahead and use more egg. Now for these noodles I tried without the egg it didn't work out I'll show you at the end but it depends on the kind of noodles you know like back home we only had one choice and now where I am there are different kinds of noodles from different countries so I had to see which one will work for this recipe so you may need to try different kinds and if you're lucky you might just use one type and it will work for you but when I say about egg egg binder is basically if you're making a bread but if you're not making a bread you just want them like that then you really don't need to bind them you just can have them like, like that okay and uh, mkate wa tambi, mkate means bread, tambi means noodle. Uh, it's usually served uh, as a side dish, in a sweet side dish, not a dessert, but you can have it as a dessert. You can also have it for breakfast. You can have it with masala chai. It's absolutely fantastic. So now I'm, uh, I basically layered the egg with the noodle, the egg mixture with the noodle. And I'm on my last layer of eggs, I mean of noodles, and then finish the egg. Okay, if you want to add more cardamom, please add more cardamom. For me it was a bit too eggy, the egg smell was a bit too strong, so I did add more cardamom and you can use another uh, flavoring like rose if you want. 
and then we just gonna add the um, apply the ghee the ghee helps with the color as well as the moisture and the flavors and the aromas as well okay and I baked these on 400 at the bottom okay you want to uh, uh, put it on the bottom of the pan of the oven because you want them to cook really well inside okay so 400 degrees Fahrenheit 200 centigrade for 30 minutes and then I did five minutes on broil to get some extra color okay if you don't want the color they're white they're fine perfectly so after the noodles uh, the bread has cooled down you want to release it from the pan and uh, get ready to serve okay it looks it looks beautiful like this if I didn't have the raisins I would have just used this size and I did remove the raisins because they got burnt and they were really really bitter so I removed some of them and then <laughs> and then I just replaced them with the uh, you know the normal raisins you can use sultanas too if you want I think next time I'll use sultanas though I don't have to worry about that so make sure that the bread is completely cooled before you slice it because it's very delicate and uh, you can serve it on the same plate if you want if you don't want then you're gonna do like what I'm doing okay and my camera was not well placed I didn't get to show you the, the piece how nice it looked inside okay and also if you want to add more sugar go ahead and add more sugar okay so we're just going to put it in a plate uh, this is not necessary like I say but I like to do it this way because uh, some of whenever you cook uh, coconut sometimes it's very sensitive with some recipes so when you touch it and then it you don't eat it you keep it next two days it goes bad so I prefer not to I just have it like this and then if you need more you always take more okay and uh, yeah this goes very well with evening tea again with a tea okay so then we're just gonna garnish this with some pistachios you know a little green with gold looks pretty nice and I want to share with you the experiment that I did with this uh, recipe because I haven't done it for a long long time actually since I came here okay so this is the small noodles Okay, without the egg but this is the next day okay it's uh, I love the red the it didn't bind very well but it tasted really good so I went ahead and did the same recipe with the egg okay okay with the egg binder so it's more dense and more firm and then this is the big noodles without the egg so maybe with the egg it will and it didn't uh, fluff up so much because the, I used the same amount of 250 grams of the uh, of the noodles but this one didn't really rise up so thank you so much for more recipes please visit me at aroma of Zanzibar and uh, you will find all the ingredients for this recipe on this page and uh, welcome again